Hello Bubbles and Splash children and parents. I hope that you are doing well and have been enjoying the lovely sunshine. We got to go to a park today so that was a really nice treat and it'd be really nice to hear the sort of things that you've been up to. Um, over the last few weeks. So uh, today we're going to be thinking about a story that is in the Bible from Luke and it's Luke 21 chapter 1 to 4. So you can look in your own Bibles or your parents might be able to read the story to you. Um, I found it in a children's Bible, this one here. I don't know if some of you have that one um, and it's got a really good picture in so I'm going to show that to you first. So I'm going to read you the story and I'm going to show you the picture and then I'm going to see if you can answer some of my questions. Um, so this is a really nice illustration of the story and I don't know if you can see there what's happening. Okay, so I'm going to read it to you now. So it says here, a woman whose husband had died had only got two pennies and instead of buying something to eat, she put them in the church collection box. She did this because she loved God so much. Jesus said that she gave more than the rich man who put lots of pounds in. And she put in everything that she had. But the rich men gave only God a tiny part of their money. That's quite a tricky one to think about, isn't it? This is called the cheerful giver. So can you see, she's putting in her pennies there and she's smiling and she's happy. And although those are her last two pennies, Jesus said that she gave way more than the other man who put lots of pounds into the box. So what do you think that means? What does that mean that she gave more when she gave her last two pennies? when the rich men gave pounds. What do you think that means? And being a cheerful giver, what do you think that means too? Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes I find it a bit tricky to share and to sort of share my things with other people and especially my children when they've got their best toys and things that are quite new, they find it quite hard to share with other people. And I know that was this story kind of made me really think about that, that although she only had two pennies left in the world, she went into that church and she popped them in the collection box and she loved God so much that that made her feel really, okay about giving things and I think the more that we spend time with God and that we pray to God and we read our Bibles and we spend time with him that that can make us better at sharing things and wanting to give things that kind of belong to us as well. Now I was thinking um, today about this and I was thinking, you know, what could we do in my family? What could we give to God to show him that we loved him? Or what could we give to others to kind of show that we love him? So I had a chat with my children and they were thinking, well, we could give him a bit of our time. So maybe instead of playing that video game at the end of the day or watching that program on telly, we could spend a bit more time with God, maybe having a prayer as a family or or reading a Bible story together. We also thought about things that we have that maybe we could give to others, and I've actually left the bag in the other room. So we went all through our cupboards today, um, and we picked out loads of toys that we don't play with anymore, and we went and got some clothes that we don't really wear anymore as well, and we're gonna take them along to one of those bins uh, tomorrow, where you put your clothes and your toys that you don't really play with anymore as well. So that was a little challenge maybe you can think about this week. So I hope you're really well and I miss you and speak to you soon. Bye.